All right, what is good, YouTube? This is your boy Jabari back again with Hill Armory. We are back, we are back, we are back with another video, y'all. I'm excited. I'm excited we got a little banger for y'all. So as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, y'all, we are going to get a new optic for our 300 Blackout, okay? Now, I'm not gonna let y'all know exactly what I found. Y'all have done a lot of help by commenting in the comments on my short speed. Let me know um, all the varieties of optics that there are. The ones that you guys recommend, the ones that you don't recommend. So after doing that, coupled with some of the, um, you know, my own due diligence, I have decided on which one I am going to get. So we're about to head to the store and uh, go pick it up right now, okay? So I'm not going to let y'all know exactly what it is. I'm going to let that be a surprise for when I get back. It's already going to be already equipped on the, um, the rifle. I'm going to just show y'all the whole profile in its entirety, okay? So without further ado, I will see y'all back when we get back from the store. Peace. Alright y'all, look what we got today man, we just made a quick, just a little quick, quick pit stop, but look what we got bro, yee, okay, with the dragons, with the dragons, bro show them how big that joke is though bro, <laughs> playing a guitar, come on man, that good TBP, what is this, the hell on earth nigga, bro, just call it the hoop, toker is, I already know what it is man, but I wanted to show y'all real quick. He ain't got the regular one. He got some regular ones here, but he ain't, we ain't we ain't with just the regulars, man. If you know, you know. Okay. Alright, man. Like like I always do. Clear. Cause I know y'all be tripping. But okay, this is the regular, right? Mm -hmm. Boom. Watch this. Call me Barry the magician, you heard me? You heard me? Come on, man. It's looking Stupid. crazy. I'm not going to lie. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all when we get to the store. Or we get back from the store, rather. We got so much. I'm dirty, damn. Feel me? Hey, what I'm going to do for y'all is I'm going to... If y'all want one of these, I'm going to link their um, information in the chat down below in the description. Y'all check them out. Got two for y'all. They got a lot of stuff, man. Premium. Look at that. Like, this is quality work right here. Mm -hmm. Batman. Yeah. So I'm going to link, I'm gonna link this uh, to their sites in the description, man. Y'all comment down below. Y'all might even get one for free if y'all review, tag some people, like, comment, subscribe. Okay. They're sort of killing each other. Joe Biden keeps saying, look, I'm staying in the race, I'm staying in the race. And then all of these different Democrats are coming out saying, well, you shouldn't stay in the race. They're whispering that he should resign. Donald Trump doesn't want to get in the middle of that. Like, if his enemy, his opponent, is making a mistake or lighting himself or themselves on fire, he's happy to stand back right now and watch them go up. No way. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So inside of this bag here, uh, we do have the ARP with the new optic already on it. So I'm going to give you guys a quick pic of what that looks like. By the way, this is uh, the Savior bag. Man, I absolutely love this bag. Um, now it has a spot or pouch for utilities or even a gun case for like a pistol or some sort. And then you also have two of the um the rifle slot so you can put two rifles in the same bag really two rifles and a pistol if you really wanted to so let's open this up for y'all oh so that's that one side for the other the other gun you can strap it on here and you have another one right there you also have some clips available and guys without further ado this is the arp with the new side on it now let me know what you guys think oh. All right, y'all. So this is what she looks like, man. Now, in my opinion, this thing looks gorgeous. Um, now, I believe this is a 11-inch upper, 
and then we have a 80% lower on the bottom here. We have our flip up sights, boom. We have a compressor here for the small, for the large muzzle blast rather. It's not no small muzzle blast, it's a large muzzle blast. So we got the little um, compressor camper here to, to redirect the uh, all that blowback out there right here. Um, we have the brace. We are going the ARP way for show. Um, and then we got that AEMS core, man. This thing looks fantastic in my opinion. Now I know there's other things that I could have got out there, um, but I think I'm gonna stick with this for a little bit just until I finish breaking in my uh, pistol, okay? Now as you can see, clear, all right? the soy boys clear okay all right. all right so like i said guys uh this is the 300 blackouts um in the arp form now guys i love this gun love this gun we're gonna do some more shooting we're gonna do some more um gun range content so we can finish breaking in this gun and then we're also going to start doing some new projects i want to put a binary on this bad boy um and maybe a can down in the future you guys let me know in the future what you guys would love to see me do with this pistol um this pistol is for the channel guys this is my baby it's probably going to be my everyday carry other than my um other than my 19x um but this is also for the channel i want to see how crazy we can get get some new ideas going and flowing within the channel okay boom all right, so this is the box that it came in. Now, I've already set this up, as you guys can see. Um, but this is the box that it came in, guys. Um, Hollow Sun AEMS Core Advanced and Closed Micro Sights. Now, this right here was about um, $300, which is pretty affordable, guys. I, like I said, I just wanted something that wasn't going to break the zero once I started firing my rifle. Um, and so, chose this. also chose it because it looks a little futuristic. Um, I don't know. I love how it looks, guys. I love how it looks. Now, we do have this already dialed in with my iron sights. I'll show you guys real quick. Well, I know that's a little bright, but she is dialed in already, ready to go. Now, I know a lot of you guys in the comments on my short speeds have been asking, you know, hey, Jabari, uh, why do you have... A sight and um, your backup sights, your flip up sights. And you know, the reason why I have this for my specific firearm, and I'm gonna preempt this by saying what you guys choose to do with your firearms, what you guys choose to do, I'm comfortable with a certain style and a certain uh, setup. You guys may be comfortable with something else, but my reasoning for having the flip up sights and the um, the red dots accompanied with it all lined up is if this thing for whatever, for whatever reason, for whatever reason fails me, I'll still have these zeroed in backup sites that I can use that are still on target that I can still punch, um, you know, accurate rounds down the range if I needed to. It's a safety mechanism. I also like the aesthetic of it, uh, but more than anything, you know, if Lord forbid something was going on with this site, I can still use my firearm and be accurate with it. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do a trigger reset for y'all. So as y'all can see, clear. I need to reset. Boom. Boom. So pretty smooth. We might change this out now in the few in the near future, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now. I need to worry about some other stuff. Like I need a nickel bore run. Um, I need to change out my charging handle. Some miscellaneous stuff that we want to take care of before we start getting to that nitty gritty crazy stuff making sure she runs right now I am also going to take y'all with me to the gun range because um, In the past after shooting this thing, it's not fully broken in yet But one thing that I've learned about having a 300 blackout this one specifically um, It does not like anything under a grain of like 110 grain is a sweet spot. It really needs to be there anything you know close to 200 grain of course you're probably shooting subsonic so um you know that's what it's meant for we want to stay away from that especially since i don't have a can for this gun 
um, anything under 200, that's what I'm looking for. I really want to be at 110 gram because we're going to have some mishaps um, if we shoot anything a little larger than that or heavier than that. Now, um, maybe that's a thing that's going to be a thing of the past once this uh, pistol gets, you know, kind of, you know, worn in and gets a little warmed up. Um, I haven't had that many rounds, I believe maybe 500 rounds, maybe a little less than that. Um, we probably need to do some more rounds, run some more rounds through this rifle. But, you know, I'm probably still, after it's broken in and things like that, I'm still probably going to have this thing, you know, only shooting around 110 grains. That's for the sweet spot. Once I get 110 grain firing through this gun, I don't get any hang up. So I think we're going to stay there for at least a little bit. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's nothing better than that AR look, man. It looks fantastic. All right, y'all. That wraps it up for this video. Um, like I said, y'all keep smacking the like button, keep smashing that subscribe button, keep commenting, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I just want to kind of update you guys on what I was getting, um, the things that I was looking for of doing with this AR. Um, now that we got that out of the way, we have time to actually film those things and. Um, take some action on them so if you guys like this video share tag your friends like this video man we're almost to 5,000 subscribers man I can't thank y'all enough y'all have been showing an immense amount of support let's keep things going y'all gonna continue to get some videos from me all right so until next time I'll see y'all later peace